Welcome to Go Live TV, the future in your hands. The only multicultural IPTV station that brings communities together. Over 2.7 million people have already watched. Go Live TV, anytime, anywhere. To the Happy Time Show. It's a boy here, David, and I'm glad to see you again. Listen, <laughs> we have a lot of fun things to do today, and I'm so excited to meet you one more time. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. That's right. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh my, oh my, we have some singing to do, and for sure we have some story time. But before we do that, let's say thank you, Lord, for another day. So I want you to be ready. I want you to be pumped. I want you to be excited because it is the Happy Time Show. You know what? I just thought of something. Before we do anything around here, I want to say thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I mean, we have people within the city, within the countryside. We have people from different countries. They actually wrote me a letter and or gave me a phone call to say happy birthday. So thank you to everyone, to my mom and to my dad, to my brothers, to everyone out there who wished me a happy birthday. Do you know someone who's celebrating a birthday? Well, don't forget to give them a hug, a high five, and to always say happy birthday, yay! Maybe that person is one, two, three, four, five, maybe they're 10, maybe 20, or even getting to more of adulthood. It doesn't matter. It's good to celebrate birthdays. Some like cakes, some like ice creams. For others, they're like poems, a lot of singing. Let's give God thanks for another day. Woo, well, having that said, we can't start our day without our welcome song. So please come along, join me, and let's go and do the welcome song. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So let's do our welcome song. <clears throat> Are we ready? Let's start.
trusting in his word. I need you to know my God is true. That's why I'm happy, happy in the Lord. That's why I'm happy, happy in the Lord. That's why I'm happy. happy in the Lord. Now, let's go back to our seating position and do much more things. Let's go. Woo! Indeed, we are happy in the Lord. Smiling, we are excited, we can rejoice. Want to know why? Hmm, we're breathing, we have a roof on top of our head, we have clothes on our body. We even have food to eat. So let's say thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you've done for me. Amen. Now, it's always important, whether it be Sunday or Saturday or any day of the week, it's important to stretch, right? <laughs> so you know what? We're going to get up, that's right, get up from your comfort spot, and let's do some stretching. So everyone up on their feet, put your arms out. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you know this routine off by the back of your hand. Yes, you do. We're gonna put our arms out, and remember what we do with our shoulders? That's right, we rotate our arms like this. One, two, Three, four, five. Now, let's rotate backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Now, let your shoulders go up and down. Ready? Let's start. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Wonderful. Let's not forget our neck. Let's go right and then let's go left. Ready? Let's go. Right and left. Right and then left. And let's do a small circle. Ready? Oh, Ooh, that felt good. Let's do it again. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure your muscles are saying, yay. Now, let's put our arms all the way up and then go all the way down. Ready? Let's breathe in. Up. Ah. And let's go down. Wonderful. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Arms up. And hold. And then let's go all the way down. Wonderful. Now, let's find our comfort spot. I have mine. Thank you for joining me with our warm-ups. Do you know what time it is? That's right, it's story time. And I have my complete illustrated children's Bible. Do you have your Bible? I hope so. You can go ahead and get it. Don't worry, I'll wait a few seconds for you. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can ask your parents or you can ask a loved ones May I please have a Bible? Oh, God's word is very important. It helps us to know what to look for, what to do, and how to even love each other. So make sure you get your Bible. Today, I have an interesting story for you. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. This one is actually called 
David and Goliath. And in the Bible, you will find it in 1 Samuel chapter 17. So, are you ready to read? I think you can say a bigger, yeah! Come on, are you ready to read? Wow! Woo! <laughs> You're ready to read. Let's start. Young David stood before Goliath. Mighty Goliath was a fearsome champion of the Philistine army. And he was so big and powerful that he was practically a giant. Goliath had challenged the Israelite soldiers to single combat. Not one of them had dared to fight this terrible warrior, but David did. God had been with him when he had protected his sheep from lions and bears. Oh, let's do that for a moment. Lions and bears. Do you know the sound of a lion? That's right. Roar! Come on, do it again. Put your hands out like this. Roar! Very good. And what does a bear do? Hmm. Roar! <laughs> And David knew that God would be with him now. The king gave David his own armor and weapons, but they were too big and heavy for the young boy. So David stood before Goliath with nothing but his staff, his sling, and five stones, five smooth stones from a nearby stream. So remember what David had? This little boy who had such mighty power from God, he had a staff, pull up your staff, and he had a sling. Let's do a sling, ready? Whoosh! And five smooth stones. Wow, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five smooth stones. Goliath laughed when he saw the young shepherd boy. No, <laughs> but David fearlessly ran to warn him, putting a stone in his sling and flinging it with all his might. It hit Goliath in the middle of his forehead. <gasps> when he fell down, David raced up and drawing out Goliath's own sword, cut his own head from his body with one stroke. <gasps> so go ahead, ready? One stroke. <gasps> the Philistines were so shocked when they saw their champion killed that they turned and ran away. <gasps> wow. Talk about having the strength of God. And by the way, he had five stones. Hmm. So that means David had courage. He had strength. Hmm. What else did he, oh, David had faith. Whoa. And, and trust. Trust in God. Wow. And peace. In order to really face your challenge, you gotta be calm and have peace in your mind because God is peace. And you know what he says? Be still and know that I am God. 
I am with you in your darkest hour. I am with you when you face against a bully. Yeah, that was Goliath. He was a bully coming up to the Israelites and saying, who can challenge me? But David said, I don't fear you. Instead, I trust God. Wow, what an amazing God we serve. He gives us the strength so that way we can face our fears, we can overcome our, challenge, our challenges. You know what the Bible says about that? Submit your ways unto the Lord, little children, for greater is he that is in you. Uh -huh. Greater, stronger, wiser is he that's in you than he that's in you the world what a mighty god we serve and never ever forget this great god he is like a shepherd who takes care of the sheep he's a father to the fatherless and and also he's a provider for those who are in need oh what a lovely god that we serve so it's good to pray it's good to sing it's good to rejoice because he always cares for us. And just like what David did, we are conquerors through him that love us. So let us all get our hands ready and wiggle your fingers and clap. Woo! <laughs> and let's all close our eyes and thank God. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us the courage to conquer our fears. You have given us the ability so that way we can stand in position. And thank you for giving us the mind to know that we can always trust you, we can always call you. Thank you so much for your love for your grace and for your mercy. Dear Lord, please direct our steps and please order them according to your will. Dear Lord, I pray that each and every child, whether in Canada, United States of America, in Mexico, how about even in the Caribbean, in South America, in Europe, and maybe even in the Middle East, definitely in Asia, and Lord, don't forget about Africa, Australia, all over the world. Bless all the children and let them know you more each day. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done and everything that you are about to do. In your name I pray, amen. Come on, say it again, amen. And did you know when we say amen, that means we agree. So we say thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. Listen, I have so much fun today. It was much of a pleasure for me just to sing with you, to pray with you, even to read God's word. David, David was used by God, a little shepherd boy shepherd that takes care of sheep oh what's the sound of a sheep again hmm sheep lambs sheep oh yeah that's right they do this sound <laughs> can you do that with me i don't want to be alone can you please do that again ready set go so whenever they need attention from uh, the mothers, from their dads, or whether from the shepherd or shepherdess, remember what they say? Bah! Now, let's spell sheep. S-H-E-E-P. Sheep. And that was David taking care of the sheep from the big bad wolf and from other scary creatures. And now God used David to take care 
of everyone else. What a mighty God we serve. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time to sing with me and everything like that. And you know what? You can always check out previous episodes of the Happy Time Show and also check out this one. And don't forget to share the love of Jesus Christ with everyone about God's word. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time with the Happy Time Show. So you know what? Let's all stand. Let's all wave goodbye. And I love each and every one of you just like how Jesus loves you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>